Hi everybody! It's Ben and Hi Rainy guys, from the Journals Rainy. of Awakening. Hello. And Ben. Hello. From the Journals of Awakening. Hello. <laughs> Double intro. You only have to pay once. Good. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about addiction to chaos. Oh, okay. I'm sure we've talked about it in a previous podcast, but life is always changing and I don't know, the chaos. We've talked about it because Rainy once wanted a new baby. So we would talk about, you know, addiction to chaos and why mm. that is. Just when we're so comfortable. Yeah, so now we're talking about it because Throw some spice in there. Ben's got some notions that he's uncomfortable. And he just wants to up and leave and start somewhere new and completely start over. Yeah, why? it's like things are going too well. It makes me uncomfortable. Um we've lived here for how many years? Two. What the fuck, dude? I've never lived anywhere for two years. That's not true. You lived at the ranch for five. Ooh, got me there. That was rent free. I worked. That was my job. I worked at the ranch. How'd you pay your utilities? Hmm. Uh, my wife. Oh. <laughs> she paid the utilities. I paid the rent. Um, <laughs> doesn't sound even to me. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's just, uh... Rent... It's about the same price, you would think, as utilities. I didn't have cable or internet or any of that stuff. Yeah. Didn't so, even have a cell phone. Well, like, is... So the utilities would have been a lot lower <laughs> than the rent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm talking, I, I worked in exchange for rent. So it wasn't even kept track of. It was more like, hey, Ben, you need to uh, count the cattle today. I need you to tag these new ones. I need you to find the horse, bring them down. I need you to feed so them. So you didn't work, you worked in hands, exchange so. for a place to stay. Yes. That's different. It's so cold in here. Like, I just, I'm so uncomfortable. Odd. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you don't even like cities. Why would you leave? Why would you move to a city? Because I know that's what you think of as a city. Because opportunity and... No. Opportunity is false. <laughs> no. Uh, city for convenience. And that's how you know I'm just being lazy and I'm addicted to chaos. You know, I, I wish that we could go to the grocery store and grab this real quick, but we can't. That's a whole ass trip. That's a drive. That's gas money. That's car problems. You know, it's just. It's been so nice. I remember when we lived in a city and we were going to Walmart all the time. Like every other day. Yeah, that just mm -hmm. sucks. You yeah. know, that's. Ridiculous. It's called living in fast forward. How's your coffee? It's lacking creamer. Okay. How's your coffee, though? It's uh, doing the trick. Is it that bad without creamer? Yes. But you're still drinking it, so obviously it's not that Try bad. It. I don't know. Try it. No. Try it. It's just black coffee. Try it. No. Why don't you use milk? Ah, I told everybody this morning. It's uh, the dairy. I think it's the milk. Staying away from it. What the fuck do you think creamer's made out of? Uh, cream. Heavy, heavy, heavy <laughs> dairy. What do you mean? I'm talking just straight up milk. No. Milk. Like, I could eat cheese all day. But Creamer is so... The second I drink milk. No. No. Yeah. That's baby food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to dig deep, you know? Where would you go? Where would I go if I were to up and leave our little town here? Our little paradise? Yep, our perfect little town. Where everything is going really well. Where would you go, Ben? Nowhere. Because... Just like Natural Tendency said this morning, that's moving sucks. Yeah. Nothing about moving is fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing. Then... The only part that's fun is the end of it when it's finally over and you're like, oh, I can finally pretend like I'm comfortable. That's not fun because you're not comfortable in a place where you've never been yeah, before. You're in a new place. Yeah. You're like, this is my room. I hang things on the wall. <laughs> yeah. This is the most homey we've ever been. This is our home. Yeah. Why do you want to leave our home? Well, you're pushing it like I've made up my mind. That's no, not, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. I know, but I don't know. I just <laughs> backtrack. <laughs> Addiction to chaos is a real thing. And it's not just us. It's a lot of people. Because yeah. you, when you <laughs> grow up with a lot of trauma in your life, and you get older, and you confuse stability for boredom, you know, yeah, and it's... That's fair. Yeah, it's something... Right, I could just pick up a new hobby. I can go out and search for rocks, yeah, get a metal could, detector, you know You what could I mean? literally do anything, and we live in a mountain. 
Yeah. So, I mean, the possibilities are heavily endless. Endless. Sorry. <laughs> so, I just, um, I don't know. We're working through this. There you go. But I know that we're not the only ones that you're on camera. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I saw something on the floor and I had to pick it up. It's what like, it? I'm going to your nail polish from your toe. It is. <laughs> <laughs> um... So I just uh You're on camera <laughs> in my butt quack show. <laughs> Addiction to chaos can cause a lot of problems. Especially when one person doesn't want the chaos. Because at first it was like I said, I wanted a baby. But he you know, that's obviously a two person job. But you know, then he's like I hate living here. And I'm like, oh my god, what? And he's like, yeah, I just hate it. My family. It's it's because the holidays just passed and everybody felt like they could just fucking come knock on my door or, you know, or harass me in some sort of way. Everyone did. Yeah. Like, it wasn't just my mom. Like, fucking everyone felt like, hey, it's your birthday. We hate you. Happy birthday. Felt well, like technically, you drove yourself over into the situation. I know. <laughs> Do you? But it was a situation uh, that had to happen. Yeah, it definitely was, but still. That's what it was. Um, yeah, I'm also really triggered every time we see chickens. Just every time I just want chickens. But. Kind of breaks my heart. Yeah, exactly. Every time. Every time. I, like, can't even. We don't have to go see them. Um, so, yeah, I just, uh. You might have to leave early here, guys. Yep. <laughs> go take care of them chickens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. I'm taking you. In there. In <laughs> there. Mine! <laughs> um, we have a wonderful yard that I was noticing in pictures. Now, you say we talk about not raking because the land needs room to grow, right? Right. But you, you can't really do anything in a yard that's not clean because you step on things. So, I was looking at pictures of, like, this time one year ago. And the yard, I mean, it was all raked. It was, <laughs> you could walk on the dirt. Flawless. That was before Ben had a hobby. Yeah, I That's know. What it was YouTube. Yeah. And uh, I think when I play with Connor again today, you should clean. Yeah, I agree. I, will rake I could do it. Day. Not let me. Let me no, say. she's a woman. <laughs> I could do it. Obviously, I'm <laughs> delegating him to something. Like, let's not pretend <laughs> that I didn't just tell, give him a suggestion. She's pretty manipulative. On what to do? Yeah, she knows I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I know he's gonna do it. She. She. Oh, I'm just gonna stop you right there. Okay, here. <laughs> Fill it up for me. <laughs> that's how she is. Yeah. No, it's not. No, there's no, there's no warning. It's that's, just. That's not true. I've stopped doing that. You're working on it. No, you wouldn't even notice because you just called me out on that. I'm working on it. Yeah. Don't be too nice to your spouse, guys. Yeah. You got to keep them in line. It's got to be a balance. It's mm -hmm. true, though. It's got to be a balance. What do I do for you? What do you mean? Well, if what have you done for me lately? <laughs> that is an Eddie Murphy line. <laughs> but what have you done for me lately, Eddie? I Sorry. don't get it. Divorce. Half! I don't oh. get it. Oh, come on. Okay. What movie? It's a, a stand-up. Eddie Murphy Raw, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't do stand-up. I don't like I it. Sorry. I don't think people are funny when they do stand-up. I think Ben's Even funny. when they wear leather? Yeah. What? Never mind. All right, fine. Anywho. Okay. So, so nobody's perfect. Yeah. I definitely drink out of the jug and uh, pee on the seat, as I like to say. You don't pee on the... Why do you say that? Just put myself out there. I don't know. I'm trying to look worse than you. You don't... <laughs> I also lick uh, the back of the toilet. It's a good luck thing. <laughs> I spit in every hole I jump in. What? They're all lies. I'm just trying to help you out here. Oh. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, so today we bring to you a, a little more of a slower, more realistic human version of a podcast. Yeah. Right? How do you feel? I feel frustrated and angry and... Tell me annoyed. about it. Speak on it. <laughs> Speak on it. You don't like that, you, that I called you out. I definitely don't like that you called me and out. And I'm sorry. I shouldn't have called you out, obviously, but I try to be authentic and it just kind of. Yeah, but I don't do that. No, you my did it. What was it yesterday? 
It wasn't with my water bottle. What was it? I don't know. It wasn't with anything because I know I haven't had anything to drink in like three days. So, and I've been at work. It came out of me because I saw it very recently. It was yesterday or the day before. You were laying in our bed and you just kind of reached out. Yeah, it was a toothbrush. That's what it was. It was the toothbrush. Yeah, she just held it out. He was standing up. He was close to the bathroom. I just stuck it. I <laughs> hold, held it out to him. Yeah. I would have put it in the sink if you did that to me. It wasn't... I was already in bed. I, I helped the kid get his... Get dressed. His teeth brushed. I gave him a shower. All it would have taken, though, is just like a... Do you mind putting this away for me? Yeah, but you already knew what I... It's been five and a half years. You gotta use your words, though. Eventually, we're just gonna be mute with each other. And then I'm gonna be like, no dinner? The fuck's your problem? I expected dinner. You always make dinner. I never make dinner. <laughs> <laughs> she never makes dinner. That's my thing. That's okay. The roles are reversed. I know here. I know <laughs> how to make dinner. It's just, he's always hungry before I am. Five o'clock hits, and I'm like, I'm starting dinner. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I'm not hungry. It takes and an hour, hour and dinner. a half most of the time, you know? But I'm gonna eat because I eat food. I meal prepped rice yesterday, you know? Exactly. To make dinner fast. And the day before that, I did make dinner, so it's okay. What'd you make, chili? No, I made spaghetti with mashed spaghetti, potatoes. Spaghetti, that's right. That's right. And you made the chili, so you know what? Kudos. Yep. You've definitely been making some meals. I know it's not burning correctly. It's supposed to bleed. Yeah, make it bleed. It's Don't, just because... Don't no, put out the eyes. I, well, I'm trying. It's because it's sitting at an angle to where the wick is getting drowned. So if you can put something underneath the skull... Hmm. Something super, yeah, the lid to the grinder. No, that's, that's not tall enough. The lid to the grinder. Hmm. For herbs. Exactly. Yeah, so sorry for wasting so much time, people. See, that's better. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> so, a little tension, a little normal humanness. Yeah. And a little hum human. I haven't woman. smoked very regularly, so I'm trying to work That's on true. Uh, honing in my coping skills. Maybe my coping skills should involve, I don't know, talking out my problems. But, you know, sometimes when I try and talk about my feelings, Ben's get all defensive. So, I just hold it in. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I do get defensive. Going out again. It'll be just fine. Um. Screw so, Ben was invited to this Discord... Ooh. This this chat group with Ooh, one of this one's on your mind, okay? Yeah, with one of our favorite YouTubers. I love weed life. Um, Catch us there every night, guys. Which is great. Me. Which is super good, right? Except, um, it's like he has something <laughs> I don't, and he wants to keep it that way. Nope, nope. That's not how I feel. I feel like um, everybody is their own person. And to like, it's like having a joint Facebook. You're so now much he's saying ridiculous. that everyone's their own person, except we've never ever done things apart. We've always said that we'll do things together. You've always said that we're a group and we're a team. I agree, but I you feel You told like... me I could log into your Discord like seven days ago. I don't know how to use Discord, first of all. I know, but you okay. said I could log into it and learn it. But you never did. Yes, I did. I've had it on my phone for you a week. You never told me. I didn't think I needed to. <sighs> we're just full blown arguing. Yeah. <laughs> we're You're looking at me like a we're toddler fucker. I can't man. see. <laughs> Put your damn glasses on. No, because it, it's a ring light. <laughs> oh, it just went out completely now. Yeah, that's 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 your negative energy. It's not now negative. Now you're gonna ruin my table. See, see, you guys witnessed it. It's not negative energy. I'm it's telling not? I'm telling you how I feel. What? You're taking it personally. The intensity that comes out of your eyes when you can't see. Is scary. <laughs> well, I had, because in the last podcast we did, I feel like my eyes were shut the whole time. So I'm trying to like. No, I didn't open. think so. Yeah, I, like I, I could see your pupils just fine. Hmm. Couldn't see mine though. That's interesting. But I want to continue on this subject. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Because we've already dove into it. We can't just leave people hanging thinking that holy shit they had like the worst day of their life. <laughs> No, this is just like the more natural versions of us. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels sketchy. You've never really like tried to keep me from something before. 
what discord yeah just That's in general so you've never tried to keep me from something before it, and, and see it's the way you're access. looking at it i'm not keeping you from it but it's, yes. it's i'm on here okay and i'm typing he's it. gatekeeping listen guys J-O-A, Journals of Awakening, that's me in the motherfucking chat every time. That's never her. Okay, but every ever. time. But if it is, I sign my name. But everyone knows it's me. Okay, but if I put dash my it's me, obviously me. They told me it's a vote in, vote out thing. So I'm like, Don't it's take obviously that literally. a very, of course it's literal. Troy's a, li a literal person too, he told me. Everything's literal. He said spouses were automatic. I, I know, of course, I would say that to you, too. You know, I'm just saying, you know, he called him out on it. <laughs> you literally called him out live, so I don't blame him. I would have said, of course you're welcome. And then I would have had a conversation with my wife about it. I would have been like, I feel a little pressured. <laughs> Things like that. Yeah, he's probably right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all. I just I'm well, trying to be respectful I, for everybody. You get you, you know, you have my passwords, you're on everything. It's not nothing to hide. You just it's a separate name. Well, I'm like Jason. I call out the elephant in the room to address the situation. Maybe if Do you feel like he was addressed? No, now I feel bad. About what? Calling him out because I didn't see it as that. I was trying to call uh, you out. <laughs> but no, poor guy got put under the rug there for a second. Yeah, so I'll that. just stay off the Discord. You can tell him you're sorry live right now. I'm sorry, Troy. <laughs> this isn't live. It's pre-recorded. It's pre-recorded, but hey, you know, man. This will be coming up on the 11th of January. That's in two days. But that's just, <clears throat> is today the 9th? Yes. Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> Who? It's my brother's birthday. Jesse. Oh. Yeah. He called me a bitch. Yeah. He that's just, fuck that's my family. Happy I, birthday, I bro. Happy, happy birthday, dad. All you guys can, whatever, but you know what I mean? None of my family ever calls you mean names. Just saying, it's not my problem after I say happy birthday, it's on them. Yeah, so fuck you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Take it how you want it. <laughs> if yeah. missionary's your style, well. Anyway. So, we were able to constructively work through a problem while on a camera that in my opinion is special is it special it's very special so you're not hiding anything from me then no okay. of course not <laughs> what <laughs> is that really what goes on in the back of your head yeah because if you go to discord and it shows you who you've sent friend requests to and one of them was a hot chick really yes what did i ask her nothing you sent a friend request really that's enough that is enough yeah. i would think that's sketchy too mm -hmm. so <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I don't remember. But I keep that stuff to myself. No, it's good though. You should. You should always, you know. But if you're having questions, you should always investigate, and make sure everything's good. But, but in Ben's defense, he doesn't know how to use Discord, so I don't know what his intentions were. It's just you know. Still. I definitely don't. I, he no, was I, like, uh, "Go download Discord on your phone and log into my thing," and I was like, "Okay," and then I was like, "Yeah." Well. Nothing. Yeah, see, see, you probably look at Discord like plenty of fish. No, I don't. <laughs> That's how you look at all social media. Yeah, I just assume it's all like that. This is where people meet. <laughs> no, it's just uh, you don't have any kind of media. You know, you talk to a lot of people. I got none. Which is fine. I'm just on YouTube. And so all... my little YouTube click, you know? Yeah, but they're mm -hmm. all fine and they're respectful and they're nice. Yeah. And that has yeah. nothing to do with the, the random chick. Yeah, and that's this is the first time she's brought this up, just so everybody knows. So I'm would, sure they can tell. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm really curious. I would like to know when and where, and was it like the beginning of the Discord? Probably. <laughs> I'm all trying to log in. I remember clicking on everybody's sites. I'm in a couple of uh, gay groups as well. And I, Fortnite. You yeah, and Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gay sites. No, I'm just saying, like, I, I really tried to learn Discord for a while, a couple weeks back, and then I just kind of stopped, There's and then like I got invited to Discord, so I was like, I guess I gotta learn it, so that's where we're at. So what is this podcast? Like, couples arguing? Like, Yeah, this is uh, real shit, people, real shit time, real problems, you know? When shit gets real. Ben and I have been ha having a lot of Mercury retrograde problems. Boom. Full moon, retrograde, all that good shit. What are you doing? I'm peeling off his tears and putting them back in here to remount later. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it bothers him, but it yeah. has something to do with my Don't try to fucking skill. Um, uh, I don't know. He's been, like, a lot more understanding than Ben usually is because he, like, usually gets really mad when I talk about my feelings, mm -hmm. which isn't nice. And anybody would tell me I need to go see a counselor, like a couples therapist. But he's been really <laughs> listening lately. And I'm trying to, like... 
not drink like coffee um for no other reason other than i cannot control myself when i start to have a caffeine t intake like at one point i was drinking like three or four monsters a day like a couple years ago and uh because i have adhd but i also like having energy and that's what it does so I started drinking coffee and the other day I had like a cup of coffee in the morning and then I had like a chai tea latte and then I had another cup of coffee at night. It's because we had a show to run. No, I know. And I, yeah, we, were, and then I we had, were guest stars. I, I wasn't even on it. And then, oh, I know. by choice, by choice, yeah. Ben was doing great by himself and I didn't want to be the only girl there. That's weird. That's understandable. Yeah. Bunch of so dudes, yeah. I was like super anxious and then, you know, every time I, every time I smoke, okay, you're supposed to smoke to relax and be at peace, right? Sure. No, you should be able to do that by yourself. You know. That's why I said sure. <laughs> <laughs> so. I knew it was wrong by the way she looked at me. Sometimes, <laughs> I well, I like vibes. So the other day I was realizing that I was thinking I'm going to walk to work and maybe I'll do a dab before so I can thoroughly enjoy my walk. And then I thought about it and I was like, but I'm like super happy right now. Like, why would I smoke? It's just going to bring me down later that brings me to something because now I, I don't smoke in the mornings anymore before my show and i feel like i'm way more lighter yeah like, like mood wise i have a lighter mood exactly like know? i mean i love smoking me too troy bagel i know you're watching yeah no we love I, weed we like know? weed we love <laughs> weed live uh, <laughs> i love weed live laugh um apparently, but... apparently they got a new song by the same guy okay mm -hmm. first floor audio yeah shout me. out <laughs> um so i've been trying to take space from cannabis david space in the concentrate form because the only thing i ever do are dabs or edibles or i'll smoke from ben's joint however every time God, i thought you were gonna stab me with <laughs> i did so every time i smoke i end up just getting anxious and i get stuck I, i've got really bad ocd like just it's awful so i just end up like throwing myself down a rabbit hole of the worst what ifs and everything uh so i'm trying to not smoke if i don't need it however the smoking also gets me through like heated, heated conversations mm -hmm. or if i'm having like irrationally emotional thoughts yeah it helps me rationalize things like mm -hmm. then i feel dumb but i think if i'm getting really emotional i don't think there's anything to rationalize you know i should just be emotional for a while and let it pass and after it's passed, figure out what happened. So the other night I was trying to get Connor to sleep. And this was, uh, I think this was the coffee and the death. No, this was my first night sober. Like, no weed at all, period. And I had a really emotional night. It was, like, super emotional. And I don't actually remember the cause. That was I just... also the day of your menstruation, I'm pretty sure. My uh, menstruation? Mm-hmm. Everybody knows I menstruate, so I figured... Women man straight too, obviously. You know. Although, and that that takes effect. Although, that does um, have like a little bit of play. Mm -hmm. I that's not the cause. I know, but you use it. You use it all the time as a cop. I used it one time, <laughs> one time. I used it one time four days ago, and the only reason I used it was so you could get off my back. I didn't actually believe it. Off your back? Did it work? Yeah, you were like, oh, okay, and you left me alone. <laughs> I was, I was like, really frustrated or mad at Ben for something, so I just told him I was on my period and to fuck off. And he was like, oh, okay, and then he fucked off. So, but I didn't actually believe it. I didn't really think, obviously, this is why I'm feeling frustrated. No, I was having a lot of feelings, but it was a really good cop-out. So I yeah. used it because I knew he would get it. So you saw the attack, the look, right? And I was right. I still got that attack look. That was scary. You weren't right. That's what I'm saying. Is that... I'm always right. Your period... Periods for you men... Menstruate. No. Menstruate. <laughs> it's menstruate. Uh, the emotions are really only heightened at the very, very... Like, a day or two before. Yeah. Or, like, the week leading up to it. Mm -hmm. But during, it's more of, like... That's when you take care of your body, you know? Stress-free. So I was just stressed and everything, like I said, I'm really taking a break from smoking. So I think a lot of these are probably withdrawals, emotional withdrawals, because I don't know how to cope with my problems. And it's just, 
having an effect. Us Americans, I think all of us suffer coping skills. <laughs> it is. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, I mean, I was taught coping skills when I went to like the behavioral psych psychiatric hospital. Right. And they teach you coping skills, but it was really trash and they didn't teach me nothing that I didn't already know. And I have coping skills. I like to read. Mm -hmm. I like to listen to music. You like to play Fortnite? I like to play Fortnite. Except when I'm stressed. That's yeah, Fortnite's much. not good for any stressful situation. Well, I, I'm really competitive. So. Um, the game is only competitive. And then I found a TV show that I like, except I only have a seven-day free trial, so I'll probably end up paying $7 a month. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was coming, guys. Yeah, he and did, I told too. Her, please um, don't get this trial. Please don't. <laughs> You're going to fall I in had, love with I it. I had to watch the show. It's Isn't it great, though? No. The pieces you've watched. It's not worth $7 a month. Well, the pieces you've watched, I know you liked it. <laughs> you can get a whole DVD for $7. One DVD. And watch it for years. 40 shows and <laughs> movies. We have the next 100 episodes, the first 100 episodes of Why SpongeBob. Why are you trying to taper down on your cannabis intake? Me? Yeah. Where did no that come one said from? I was. Yeah, you said that. I just noticed. I stopped smoking in the morning just because I've been busy. Literally, just like busy you're a self-aware person, but I feel like in the moment you're not self-aware. Well, that's true. You're like, I'm not smoking in the mornings, and that's it. And I'm like, I didn't say I'm not. I'm just saying since I stopped. Yeah. I've been better. I don't know. Just mentally a little more here it's because smoking actually can cause you anxiety you yeah. know you it's a it's a crutch especially when you do it too much you know yeah because I mean? then you don't know how to solve your problems i i them. medicate i don't necessarily I, I socially smoke right obviously mm -hmm. i go and i socially smoke but and i don't see, smoke on my free time for fun uh, you know what I, mean? I do i like i like she to does. be high She's i like, like smoke with me and i'm like nah i'm, see, I'm straight oh huh. what i like is creativity so smoking with intention if i smoke with the intent to paint or to draw or something you know mm -hmm. then or and listen to music then that's great except i can only hyper focus on it for 45 minutes or so to an hour before i start coming down and i'm like all right why did i smoke again so if i intentionally smoke it's a lot easier but if i smoke just to like feel the vibe like it kind of ruins the vibe you know what i'm yeah. saying a social thing yeah i like i definitely like it socially but me i like it medically like i'm having a fucked up day and that's when i don't smoke yeah but that's when but, you when you work on them coping skills yeah you know? oh when you're you, right yeah and you always you realize, tell me you need to smoke maybe i shouldn't maybe you shouldn't yeah maybe i should go outside and take a walk yeah you know yeah I mean? get exactly. some fresh air right take a picture of a bird because i Make feel a funny like, short you know and i thought this like before maybe a year or two ago is that the amount we smoke probably contributes a lot to our anxiety because we just don't know how to solve anxiety without it that's true we're, we're daily smokers um daily you know i'm not gonna say all day you know nothing like that but every night yeah <laughs> every night for sure and that's when i allow myself to fully indulge it's, yeah, you're going to sleep anyway. it's after eight or nine <laughs> yeah. i'll either take an edible or take a fat dad because the come down's fine i can just go to bed mm -hmm. but i come down really hard and i've never gained a tolerance yeah i've never gained a tolerance i can smoke anything and get high it's ridiculous yeah, not I smoke just, anything i want to clarify for the for the crack yeah, no, no crack <laughs> no no crazy shit. i can take a tiny dab no and get high. i can take a tiny bowl and get high I can take an edible, a really five milligram edible, and get stoned. See, that's the thing, is I don't have a tolerance, which means that once I hit slightly too much, my OCD and my anxiety kick into overdrive. That makes sense. I can't stop fidgeting my face. I can't get comfortable. I'm tense all the time. Like, everything that touches me, I'm, like, super... That's really interesting. I get fight or flight. Yeah. When I smoke and too much. And she flies. And, no, I fight. I'm like... <laughs> Don't touch me! So, yeah. So, anyway, on that note, this is our podcast. And this was a really good one, I think. I think it was healthy for us and healthy for the general public. I think they should hear these kind of shits. What are we going to call it? In this podcast, we will argue and talk a lot about cannabis at the end. Right. And uh, vote now. Who was right? I <laughs> literally... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm don't kidding, do that. I'll fuck you up. I'm totally do joking. That. All right. <laughs> you good, fidget?
Peace. Peace. I love you. I love you too.